What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on NEO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you that for now, NEO is nearing its crucial point, and it is really important right now to take a closer look on its price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this point, and I've told you that uh, we had another leg to the downside, and uh, next movement to the upside, next bounce, was with the increasing volume, as you can see right here. This volume is slightly bigger than this one, and uh, right here we had uh, an opportunity to hit higher targets if this asset uh, wouldn't break uh, this uh, previous bottom. And unfortunately it broke it, it broke it twice, but it had quite uh, good uh, support at the range of around $9.9. And in my opinion, range from 9.9 to 10 dollars becomes quite good uh, local support range for this asset. And we have to take a closer look on this range uh, first of all. And uh, secondly, I have to say that we are nearing the crucial point uh, on the bigger scale. And I will show you these levels uh, in uh, my technical analysis in just several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all, let me show you this news. Uh, we are on cnvpost.com. And this article was published on February 15th, and it says Steve Cohen's 0.72 triples position in NEO clears XPeng in Q4. And uh, right here you can read uh, the entire article, I will put all the links uh, on these articles in the description below. And you can read it and uh, decide uh, how important uh, this uh, particular investor might be for the entire company. And in my opinion, it is not the biggest investor, but uh, if we take a closer look on the uh, activity on institutional investors, as you can see, we have more green lines that represent uh, the uh, new, completely new position uh, in NEO. And definitely it is quite a good uh, sign. But uh, if you take a closer look on the dates, as you can see, we don't have uh, uh, a lot of updates uh, recently. And we have to remember that this date is uh, not the actual execution date, it is the filing date. And you have to remember that the execution date was uh, more than 45 days prior this date. And that's why you cannot rely for 100% on this uh, activity, but you have to keep this in mind as a part of your due diligence. So, let's continue with other news. Uh, and uh, this news, in my opinion, is very important. Uh, Cattle reportedly cutting battery costs significantly for some clients, including NEO and Li Auto. The program is only available for, uh, to a few strategic customers, including NEO, Li Auto, Huawei, and Zikr, and Tesla is not included, according to local media. And uh, you know that the most expensive part of electric vehicle is uh, its battery pack, and uh, the lower the price of uh, the battery is, the higher might be the margin on each and every vehicle and uh, the sooner the company will uh, reach uh, its uh, profitability. And we know that uh, NEO is losing uh, money on each and every vehicle right now, but uh, in a matter of next, uh, I guess, 18, maybe 24 months, it might become profitable and uh, in this case uh, the growth of this company will be imminent. So, let's continue with other news. On February 16th, we can find this article that NEO to report Q4 earnings on March the 1st. And in my opinion, it will be a very good deadline for the company because uh, when we will see their uh, results for full year 2022 and uh, when we will see their guidance, definitely we can uh, decide uh, what should we expect next from the company. And uh, I have to say that uh, NEO delivered uh, more than 40,000 vehicles in fourth quarter. It is above the upper end of its lowered guidance range of uh, 38.5 to 39.5 vehicles. And in general, as you can see, uh, they set uh, a record they delivered more than 40,000 vehicles, but in general uh, the guidance was not perfect. And because of uh, lack of information, I have to say that not so many companies edit uh, their analysis, not so many companies set new price targets uh, for NEO. And as you can see, the latest update on marketbeat.com was made uh, on, uh, at the very end of December, on December 29th, and it was China Renaissance. 
And uh, uh, right now, all of these companies are awaiting for their earnings report because this earnings report uh, should be crucial for the entire year for NIO. And that is why we have to be very cautious. I have to say that uh, uh, we have some positive news uh, for this company and also we have uh, uh, some negative news. And uh, right here on Seeking Alpha you can find uh, this article that is titled NIO don't buy the drop. And the summary is following. EV sales growth is returning to normal. The EV demand slump uh, is forcing some EV companies like Tesla to lower their electric vehicle prices. This could lead to growing margin pressure and other Chinese uh, EV companies like NIO may be forced to follow Tesla's lead. And I have to say that uh, you have to do your own due diligence because uh, the author of this article uh, doesn't know, probably doesn't know that uh, Tesla Right after they lowered uh, the prices uh, of, uh, for example, Model Y, they also increased these prices for two times. And uh, definitely it shows uh, that the demand for at least Tesla is at the very high level. On top of that, uh, let me show you somewhere here. We can find uh, some articles, some news that might be also quite bullish for NIO. And as you can see right here, NIO says, all the models being phased out as planned, denies rumors of sales halt. And another news is right here, NIO's inventory clearance of older models nears end. And we know that NIO has two platforms, NT1 and NT2. Uh, and uh, the second uh, platform is much more profitable, it has more margin in it and uh, the older models uh, will come to its end and uh, definitely when they sold out all the uh, so-called old vehicles on the old platform, the margin of this company will increase. And because of this, we might see better numbers for this company in the future. But right now, we have to be cautious. And let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, first of all, let me show you that on hourly time frame, this asset is nearing its crucial point. And let me connect the bodies of these tops right here. And what do we have? We have a perfect sloping line that might act as a resistance and uh, this resistance uh, will be hit uh, this week and uh, depending on the price action around this uh, uh, range of resistance, we might consider its upcoming movement. But on a greater scale, let me show you and I covered it uh, previously, uh, if uh, we switch to daily time frame and zoom out, we can find uh, right here that uh, this asset doesn't finish its movement to the downside because on a bigger scale we have to have a simple zigzag uh, in the retracement and uh, this uh, retracement uh, should have five waves in its uh, C wave and if it is the case we have this is our A wave, this is our B wave and this is our C wave and uh, in, uh, inside the C wave we might have this is our first wave, second, third, fourth and uh, this is the fifth. But uh, in the fifth wave, from this top, we might have, this is our first wave, second, third, this retracement is the consolidation in the fourth wave, and we have to have one more leg to the downside. And if it is the case, uh, this asset shouldn't break uh, these previous uh, bottoms, and uh, we have uh, several supports from the range of $9.5, this previous bottom, all the way down through uh, 8. Uh, $38. It is its lowest point right here. And if this asset will not uh, bounce off out of uh, this range to the upside and will not break its swing high at uh, roughly $14, definitely we will see the next leg to the downside. But if I zoom in a little bit and let me show you what do we have uh, uh, right here. Uh, let me show you this uh, exact movement. And if I connect, let me show you if I connect uh, these bottoms and uh, projected to the tops. As you can see right here, we have a decent channel and we are retesting, let me clean the chart a little bit, we are retesting this channel for the third time and if this range holds, we might see the next leg to the upside that probably might break uh, some uh, crucial ranges of resistance and in this case we will uh, see the next leg to the upside that probably might hit uh, some higher targets at 13 or even 14 dollars. And uh, that is why we have to be cautious uh, because in my opinion we might see some kind of uh, consolidation phase uh, during this uh, week and on March the 1st, depending on their earnings 
report and especially depending on their guidance, we might see the major movement uh, either way. And uh, this uh, will either complete the entire ABC correction on a greater scale or it will break uh, this pattern and we will see the next leg to the upside. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby